What's up guys? Today I am coming to you from my home office, which is also my kitchen and my living room and my bedroom because we moved to a studio apartment. So that's why there's a fridge in the background. I am really excited to show you some things that I've been working on. I am excited to release the first episode of the clip art class. This isn't by any means comprehensive. It's just how to make clip art like I make clip art. And I've done some videos on this in the past, but I've definitely refined my process a bit and um, I'm always evolving my workflow. And so um, I'm just going to try to be as thorough as possible on my process of making clip art to sell online. So a few exciting things. I've put together a resource pack that you can download. You can follow the link in my description. This contains a whole bunch of new resources. Um, first and foremost, a new watercolor canvas. It is the canvas that I use to make my clip art. So it's um, 600 DPI and also just very large. It also has another smaller canvas size. It also includes a bunch of new brushes as well as some updated old ones. So I tweaked some of my older brushes and refined them and created some new ones that I am very excited to share with you. We'll get into that later. I have tweaked how I create my canvas a bit. That's what we're gonna go over in today's video. So, huge intro. Wanted to keep you up to date. This is the clip art class. Really excited to share these things with you. It's all totally free to download these resources. There is one more other resource that you will see in the download that is, it's a preview image creator pack. It'll allow you to quickly set up preview images, thumbnails, like product images for your clip art pack to sell. But that's a later video. I think that's it. Let's get started. So to start off, we are in Procreate and this is the texture that I have already for you to download. So we have two painting layers. These are on linear burn mode and then four texture layers. I'm gonna run through how I make this canvas from start. Um, but you can also just use this one that I have free to download and skip the rest of the video. What I find really important when I'm reading clip art is to get a super high resolution. With the canvas that I've provided for you to download, it's a super large file. The physical dimensions are 9.6 by 8.6 inches, and that's 600 dpi. So it can be reasonably doubled to be around 19 by 17 inches at 300 dpi. And so these can be used to make some print quality, large scale clip art. And because all the clip art that I sell is raster based, meaning that it's pixels instead of vector based, it's not infinitely scalable. So the really high resolution is super important here. So because of that, you can still zoom in and get so much detail before it even starts to blur out. The downside of this, depending on your iPad model, the storage, and whatever canvas size you go with, there is a limit to the layers. If I go back into canvas information, my maximum layers is 14, and I know that four of those have to be my texture stack. That leaves me with 10 working layers. So I can't do a ton of layers in this, but I just create more canvases. The only time that that really comes into play is if I'm working on something that has a lot of different color layers, in which case you might have to either decrease the scale of your canvas or develop some workarounds. But in general, this has been the best size for me to create super high resolution clip art. Other, a few other things to note about the canvas information. The color is always going to be RGB in Procreate. I believe in Procreate 5, they're going to have CMYK. So this video, depending on when that is released in 2019, you might be able to have both. I always work in RGB regardless. When you are setting up, say that you want to create a custom canvas size and fill in those layers, um, you can just tap create custom size. And if you want to start out by making it 600 dpi, then you can kind of gauge your size here in pixels. You can gauge how big you want it and like kind of find the right balance between maximum layers and the width and height. So I'm going to start off, let's just do a screen size version. So I'm going to 
tap this screen size and open up a new canvas. We're all good here. And I'm going to go in and I'm gonna select a mid-tone gray color. And this is maybe a little brown. I'm gonna make it more gray. So you can kind of see the values of where I'm at here. And then you're gonna to wanna to download these brushes and I'm gonna start off with the pastel paper brush. And this is the real rich paper texture. Bring my opacity all the way up. I'll bring up my brush size. And without lifting my pencil, I'm just gonna cover the entire canvas with that fill of that texture. And now I'm going to go into my layers dialog and I am going to duplicate this layer twice. And then I'm gonna do one more additional layer. I'm gonna move this to the bottom. I'm gonna go in, change the brush to the recycled paper brush. And I'm gonna go over this one more time. You can't see it. I know that it's filling it in because the brush is huge. So you see there, that's what that is. All right, now it's time to adjust the blending modes of these layers. So on the top layer, this is gonna be our lighter overlay color. You just get into this menu by tapping on the N right here. I'm going to go into the contrast dialog and I'm gonna tap overlay. And you can see already the canvas is lighter. And this is definitely not what we want. We want something that we can paint through and be able to see all of the richness of the texture, but not have it distort the painting. So this is our overlay. The next layer we are going to set to color burn. And I'm gonna bring that opacity down to 70. The third layer, I'm gonna to set to linear burn. We're gonna bring that opacity down to about 40. And then for our recycled paper texture, that one we are going to multiply and bring that down about 40%. And from here, so I'm going to select all of these to group them. So I, I top the first one, and then you're gonna do kind of a tap slide motion to select the other ones and hit group. And then I'm gonna add a new layer below and your painting layers will all be set to linear burn. And then your canvas is all set up. So I'm gonna go in with this paper texture brush and there you can see all of the paper texture. And so from here, for example, that's what it looks like before and after. So it gives some depth and some realism to your watercolor. You can always adjust the opacity levels on your texture layers and really make it what you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you can follow the link in the description to download the resources that we used in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to subscribe if you want more in this video series as well as more painting, how to procreate, brush making, etc. tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.